we will be traveling across North America in search of the best teenage soccer players. They'll be picked in order to compete for a single position at the Everton Youth Academy. This is their chance to go pro and earn a six-figure contract. Only one of these skilled athletes will survive the final cut, but most of them will endure the frustration of failure. How many of you would scratch people's eyes out and take everything to be a footballer? You have to live it. You have to breathe it. It's got to envelop you. If that's my life, it has to be your life. Get on the ball! Our talented soccer experts are Steve Niger, Jason Messa, Bassam Name, Hubert Busby, and Ray Hall, manager of the Everton Youth Academy. It doesn't matter how good you think you are. It only matters how good we think you are. This is the dream. I'm coming to see if we can find the player. Are you the one? Talk a dream. All right, all right. Yeah. Here they go. Let's get the hands, guys. All right, we're over here at Bond Grove Fields at Soccer Dreams, and man, the excitement is really going on here. We're gonna move in and just talk to one of these players right here. Uh, what's your name? Anthony. Anthony, how are you doing? What's your last name, Anthony? How do you feel about today? A little nervous, you're, but you are nervous. With it. Yeah? yeah. Uh, how do you think you're gonna do? Hopefully pretty good. Yeah, yeah. did you train? Yes, I did. You got the stamina and everything yes. like that? Because we're gonna put you through it. All right. All right, All right. you're looking good. All right, good luck. Do you think you have what it takes to win? Yeah. Yeah? What is that? What's your special ability? Speed, shot, first touch, physical fitness. The physical fitness? Well, that's going to be important today. Yeah. All right? Good luck, man. He said he was the one. I heard him loud and clear. What's your name? Tony Triano. Tony Triano? Where are you from, Tony? Kitchener. Kitchener? Oh, you took that long drive in. What's your brain? Who's this here? My brother Mike. This is your brother Mike. How you doing? You here to support him? Oh, definitely. All right, well, he's gonna need all the support today, right? Here. Come on. Who's gonna win? Let's hey, hear it. Hey. All right, who's the one? Hey. Who's the one? Are you the one? Guys, are you the one here? Hey. 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 All right? All right, guys, listen, I need you guys to be, be pumped, all right? Oh, oh my God. <laughs> who's gonna win? Who's the one? Me. Are you the one? I wanna be the one. Are you the one? That's what I wanna hear. I wanna hear that you are the one. I'm gonna be a star. I am the one. I'm pretty sure I'm what they're looking for not to be cocky or anything. I really want to win. Me, not this guy. Soccer dreams! Yeah! <laughs> How are you guys doing today? Great! You excited? You ready? Yes. yes! Good. You're at drill number one. I'm gonna hand it over to Coach Julian, Coach Dennis. They're gonna run you through this. They're gonna explain to you what you need to do. Okay, welcome guys. This is our left foot, right foot passing drill. Okay, what you do is you go down this way, the first side, you left foot it, left pass into the net, each net. Okay, you go from station to station and you go around each pylon. When you get to the last ball, tap the last ball on the net, you go around the pylon. This side it's going to be right footed into the net. So first net, second net, around the pylon all the way to the end. Last ball into the net and you make a run for the last pylon. It's a five meter sprint. The first drill is the right and left passing challenge. This challenge tests the dexterity of the player's left and right feet while running. Yeah. Wow, that was quick. Just going with it, honestly. To be honest, I felt confident, I just did it. Yeah. Just went with the flow, I missed a couple, it's okay. I don't know, my left foot's a bit wobbly. Should have done better. Nervous a little bit in the beginning, but I'm gonna be alright now. It's a lot harder than it looks. A little nervous, but. Yeah. I don't know, the, the nerves, the pressure. A little nervous, but.
Uh, it was pretty intense. Uh, the first time I went, I missed the first two goals, but then I got to do a I got a second chance because the Nets were crooked. But I think I did pretty good. Daniel Nixick. What happened, Daniel? Oh, it looks intimidating. And? Uh, I thought I'd be able to, uh, I thought I'd be able to put all of them away, but I don't know. It looks, it looks harder than what it really is. It, yeah, you want to go fast and also put them in, but uh, nice accuracy. Nice job. I could have done better. I could have done better. I thought I wasn't looking at too much, and, but I could have done better. Yeah. No, no, it's not a problem. It's just. Uh, I wasn't used to if we could try it out before and then see. I don't know, I wasn't used to the distance and the touch. Andrew Carr. I don't know, I just I was kind of nervous I got here late. Oh. I didn't get to warm up or anything, so I, well, I just, hopefully I, I think I made a bad impression on the first one. If you don't got the speed, you can't play on Everton. This is Coach Bassam, he'll lead you through this drill. Agility Run is a course that focuses on players' stop and start ability. Coaches will also be looking at how well players take instructions. Turns were quick, uh, cones were tight together. Alex Bartomeu. Tell me, why do you think you got the goods to go on and play for Everton? Because I have the heart of a champion, and I'll never give up, and I'll do whatever it takes to win. It doesn't matter how good you think you are. It only matters how good we think you are. This is the dream. I'm coming to see if we can find the play. Are you the one? All right, boys. Rebound and pass challenge. If you can't pass, you can't move on. Coach Louie, Coach Francesca are gonna run you through the details and we'll go from there. Test it on your accuracy, on hitting the boards with your passes, and on the time. The time's very, very important. To start over here, you're gonna dribble around this cone. You're gonna pass into the board over here. So that's your first board. So it's like a one-two, all right? You're gonna get, get it right back off the board. Board two, board three, board four around the cone right at the top of the six yard box come back and you're going to hit the same boards again one two three four and you're going to finish over here so remember accuracy and time time is very very important when you hear the whistle you're going to go right so the first one starts here Good, except for a couple times I slowed down a bit. It was pretty good. Pretty yeah. good. Sure. Uh, when I passed it, it bounced off. Here we are with Jimmy. Jimmy just ran through our station two. Jimmy, what do you think happened out there? First one, lost momentum, kicked my left foot, went all the way over there. I had to go get the ball, lost in precious seconds. But Jimmy, that's a proof. Jimmy, you're a good player. Is this something you can rebound from, or is that it from you? 
thought that I could be around from for sure. I've done much worse than this and I've done better in, in the past. Did all right, I just tripped a little down there. Well, I threw my leg. Other than that, I think it did good. Good, now for the next drill, is there something you're gonna work on, improve on, or? Yeah, concentration. Need to concentrate more on where the ball's going, where it is on my foot. Look up, don't be looking at the ball when dribbling. Seems that you struggled a little bit in that uh, drill. Tell me, what happened? Honestly, I really don't know. I think I was focusing too much on where I wanted to put the ball and how I wanted to put it so I could receive it properly and just get quickly to the next, uh, I guess, board. So I guess it was kind of a mental issue rather than tactical. For the next uh, drills or something, you're going to bring to the table a little extra? Uh, maybe just put in a little more mental. Uh, well, I guess I don't know how to put it, but focus more and just do it. Not too good. What are you going to bring to the table next time? Focus. Better than the first one, just a little mistake. Okay. Moves well with the ball. Moves very well. Yeah. Maybe the touches. Yeah. After the passes. Speed. Speed, yeah. Faster. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on. What happened? <laughs> Number. I missed this one. That went pretty far. All you can do is sprint now. Get it. And uh, keep going as fast as you can. You have to, you have to hit a nice accurate. You have to watch out for the speed too. In behind me, they're getting ready for the 1v1s. There's nowhere to run. There's nowhere to hide. If you get beat, they're going 1v1 to the goal. Timed elimination. The more you score, the higher your points, the more you win. Check out the action. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going, come on, come on. Let's go. Everton, you better be watching because I'm going to be the next Teddy Johnson. Everton, you better be watching I'm the next Gonzaga. Number one. I will win this competition. It's kind of hard, but I'm pretty sure I'm what they're looking for not to be cocky or anything. <laughs> it doesn't matter how good you think you are. It only matters how good you think you are. This is the dream. I'm coming to see if we can find the play. Are you the one? Here we are at the shooting challenge. Everyone thinks they can score goals? Well, here's your shot. Let's check out the action.
The boys start off strong. Let's see how long that continues. In behind me is the long pass challenge. Players will now chip a ball over a couple different distances, 20, 30, 40 yards. On the field, you gotta hit targets, you gotta hit squares. Let's check it out. Coach Niger knows what it will take in order for these kids to become professional players. He's trying to see who has the heart and mind to overcome physical exhaustion. By the third lap, the field is thinning and the fit players are leading the pack. Are they able to suppress the pain and complete the run? because in order to advance, the run must be completed. Three minutes left, keep working. Three okay, minutes left, keep going, left. keep going. Two minutes. The players have had a long, hard day. The run will simply tell us who has the heart to keep going when the chips are down. That's what the coaches are looking for. Do these players have what it takes? Keep going, 20 seconds, keep going, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. And time. I just want to thank you guys all for coming out today, all right? I'm sure it's an experience that you guys will never forget. Okay, some of you guys are gonna move on to the next level. Unfortunately, some of you guys are going to be heading home. I'm gonna to get Tommy to read some names. That is group one. The names that Tommy read will stay over here, okay? All right. Group one will be off to this side. I'm going to be calling you by numbers. 744. 719, Stefan Koricha. 757, Massimo Mirabelli. 702, Christian Rodriguez. 736, Matthew Healy. 714, 764, Tate Newmarch. 726, Joshua Hamburg. 701, Felipe Uliani. 759, Marlon Sequera. And the rest of the guys that are seated, you're in group two. Let's come in right here, please. This being group one, this being group two. Group one. You guys move on. Yeah! 
Now we have the winners from Vaughn who will be joining our day one victors from King City in order to compete for a position in the House of Champions. I was surprised, but uh, round two coming up. Uh, I don't know, there's a lot of good plays. And uh, I don't know, it just feels good. What do you think? I don't even think I can speak anymore. I'm just so happy I made it to the next round. All right, we have a group of four hopefuls here, and we'll be into the next round. So, guys, how did you feel it went today? Great. We made it through, so what else could we want? Awesome. What did you think? Beautiful experience, and nice professional practice. It was great. It was good. Something to look forward to. Honestly, I love today. Day to remember. Uh, it was a pretty good experience, kind of tiring at the end, but all around some good drills, tested, tested out our skills. And the fitness test at the end, I pushed pretty hard. I think I got the highest score out of everyone. I got nine laps, and that's it. It was a good experience. Actually. My name is Sebastian Raj, you're next okay. to beat. My name is Sokan Lakar, and I just made it to the second round, and I feel great. It was a great experience playing here, and it makes me feel great that I made it, and I think that I'm going to work more and show them what I can do. Join us next week as we head to another city in our quest to find the ultimate soccer player on Soccer Dreams. They say you live once, so I live once to the fullest. Respect the game, respect the name. A day to the free block, I'm giving them pain. I was king of the streets until they put me in chains. I got the heart of the gang, the humble boss of the gang. I did my time in the game, yeah, I'm ready to die. Got me fed for the streets, a lot of pain in my mind. Nobody can stop that, I didn't direct. If you're ready to die, you hear the sound of the Mac. Nobody can stop that, I didn't direct. If they're ready to die, you hear the sound of the Mac. Train the day to sequel, money's the root of evil, but dying is guaranteed to live my life for free. Lord, I came for the